the PWBA Tour back in the Derby City for the first time since 2002. We're on the road. It's PWBA On The Road, episode six, week six of the 2018 PWBA Tour. My name is Emil Williams Jr. This week's venue, Fern Valley Strike and Spare. Looking forward to a great week on the lanes. Looking forward to meeting uh, more people, of course, from the city of Louisville. Uh, so many, of course, that uh, we had two pro-amps today. 11 a.m., we'll have one, of course, this evening. Speaking of pro-ams, we'll talk to several fans about their pro-am experience, why it's important for them, and we'll also talk to uh, some players about that very same thing, what they look forward to when they bowl uh, in a bowl with the pro event. But first, let's go back to last week, East Hartford, Connecticut, where Josie Barnes found the winner's circle for the second time in her young career. I don't even know yet, right? I mean, it, like, it happened 15 minutes ago. You know, I, I felt like I put myself in a position to be successful, but obviously, gave Danielle the opportunity to step up and, and double. Here it is. And no. Oh, it's in front of it. And when it didn't happen, I kind of just lost it because, you know, the, the first title means everything. You know, you, you work your tail off achieving your ultimate dream, but the second one feels pretty cool. It's like validation for, you know, all that you've put in. Her chance to step up. Definitely. First shot looks a little bit right. Got to hurry. It's not. And Josie Barnes. Josie Barnes will be your winner. Has just won her second PWBA title. The emotion. You can see it. Wow. When I didn't strike, I'm like, well, I gave it, I gave it what I got, and you know, Danielle's gonna be Danielle because that's what she is. Uh, on Team USA, we joke and call her the robot because she, you know, it's it's like a machine. Um, but you know, it, it fell in my favor this time. I actually started with a different ball than I had started with all weekend. Uh, I still had gone to that ball later in the day, but. Uh, just the ball reaction I was seeing wasn't really matching up. Um, you know, I was clean to teeing pace with the other ball. Um, but, you know, Sean and I talked and I said, I'm just going to have one simple thought and that's just going to be to keep my butt down, to keep my legs under me. And if it falls, it does. And so I just kept things very, very simple uh, and, and kept my ball in front of me and, and let the pins fall. Back to back. Hold on. Josie. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know, I, you know when you give someone like Liz Johnson a chance, she's going to, to close the deal. I knew as soon as I missed a single and she had the chance to double that it was going to happen. And, you know, I kicked myself for an entire week because I don't miss spares. That's not what I do. Uh, you know, and looking back on it, I just wasn't present. You know, it wasn't that I was overthinking or I, I just wasn't present. I was ahead of myself. Um, and so I said to myself coming into this week, I will be here for every shot. And what that looks like at the end of the weekend, I don't know, but I'm not going to let the same mistakes hurt me. It's nice to have it early on because, you know, that's what we fight for. It's like the, the ultimate prize, whether you win it or not, just getting to that point and being in the top 16 is just a cool experience. I did it once before when I won my first title and it kind of stunk not being able to be there last year. So, you know, I, I really worked hard uh, in the off season kind of gearing towards that. Uh, but the road doesn't stop, right? You know, if I let up, then when I get to that point, what does that look like? Um, so still working hard. Hey, maybe win two titles in, in one season, you know, I guess that's the goal now. Um, but yeah, just taking it one week at a time. Josie bowled awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's clear they have a lot of bowlers here and a lot of bowling fans because this place was packed all week, so much so that it was hot. You know, I mean, there were just so many bodies in this building, which to me makes it even that much more awesome. You know, I have um, some college friends that are from this area, so they were able to come out. So kind of feeling like you had some family here and, and their parents around um, was really awesome. And the people were just great. I had so much fun during the Pro-Am on Thursday night. Uh, you know, and I really hope that we get to come back. Congrats again to Josie Barnes on her second career title on the PWBA Tour. Awesome step ladder finals and awesome championship match. Make sure you check that out, of course, on Bowl TV. Now let's take a look at the fan perspective of things. We go inside Bowl with the pros. We've got some aspiring pros, some folks that love bowling, uh, and that's exactly what we need in our sport. 
Bowl with the pros. Let's take a look. Pro-Am tournament since beginning of time. I enjoy bowling. I've been bowling since 1964. I was thrilled to hear that they were coming because the last time I bowled with them was in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And it was like eight years ago. So I was thrilled to hear they were coming back. I really look up to these women, so I thought it would be cool just to bowl with them and get the feeling for it. And I mean, it's living up to my expectation right now. That is my dream to become a PWBA. I just signed for Spalding University, so hopefully my coach can get me to that level. I think it's a pretty neat experience for everybody here to kind of come out and see what they do and how they perform and it's a lot of fun. Speaking of pro-ams, we've got uh, two very cool professionals, of course, with us to talk about uh, their own pro-am experience and being able to uh, bowl with the pros, but obviously the other side of it is Rocio Restrepo to my left uh, and Sydney Bromit to a rookie uh, on my right. And we'll start with Ro, um, your experiences in bowling with the pros and in, in those events, uh, why is it uh, kind of important for for us, you know, for, for professionals and be able to have that, that relationship uh, and to be able to compete alongside fans and let them know that, you know, in a sense that, hey, you guys are, are, are people too as well. Well, it's very important because this is our way to approach, you know, our fans at home and they, they really get to see um, the person behind, you know, like the scenes when they are watching us on TV, they get to see a little bit of who we are and that's our opportunity to actually grow our fan base as well some of them especially for me uh, when I moved when I started bowling the the tour a lot of people didn't really know who I was so for me it was uh, like a humbling experience because I had to come in and hey my name is Rocio they didn't know that I was you know a pro or whatever so um, once you know I was done bowling with them they were like oh we really like you we wish you the best and I always left you know the ball with that sense of Oh, I accomplished something, they now know more about, you know, who I am, but the tour as well. And uh, it becomes more, to me, a promise about the fans. So it's me giving back to the sport that I love so much. And at, at the end of the day, you, don't, you cannot even imagine my experiences because I have left some tournaments feeling so down and I have to bowl the prom and I have to make a turnaround for the kids and for the fans and at the end of the day I am the one that benefits from that because I leave the bowling center with a new like like my spirits are up again yeah. and I'm like okay if I can do this while I'm bowling up for arm then I can do that while I'm competing so they are actually the reason why I come back stronger the next time so for me proms are very important I take them very seriously Sometimes you know like you're a little tired and you feel like oh my god we've got to sure. bowl the prom yeah. but yeah. but then once I leave I'm like oh my god I'm so blessed to be able to do this and give back to the sport that has given me so much. I like that. That's a great answer. And then uh, Sid, from the rookie perspective, uh, you started uh, this year in Vegas and that was your first pro am uh, and uh, and I know you came out of there. Like, wow, this is uh, something I'd look forward to doing bowling uh, or having fans bowl with the pros. So what's your experience been like uh, through Pro-Am number three that we just bowled this morning? Yeah, so each of the Pro-Ams has been uh, just a little bit different. So in 
uh, Vegas, I got to bowl with a lot of older people, and that was really cool for me because I didn't know that older people bowled pro -ams. But it was really, um, really cool to see people come out. People had driven two or three hours to come and bowl with us. So to me, that was a really big deal. I didn't know people did that, um, especially my rookie year on tour. I wasn't really sure how big a fan base the tour had or what was going on. Um, and then my second pro-am, I got to bowl with some younger people and um, some older people as well. So that was great. And then today, we had a, a wide range of people. So for me, just getting to meet the bowling fans that we have is a lot of fun. And um, I bowled pro-ams when I was younger. So to give back to that community that gave to me is awesome. How would you compare now being the professional, uh, in a sense, and, and then going back to when you were uh, the youth player, for example, bowling with your favorite pro? It's really different. It's really, really different. Uh, the other programs, I mostly pulled uh, the PBA programs because the women's store yeah. wasn't around when I was um, really getting into competitive bowling. Sure. So I bowled with the men and I just stood there in awe pretty much of them the whole time <laughs> and it went by really fast. Uh, <laughs> but now it's more about making sure that the fans have that wonderful experience and making sure, like Rose said, you know, they get to know us and, right. and have just that genuine good experience with the human bes behind the bowler. And for, for both of you, is that um, have you caught kind of fans just kind of staring in awe of you in that sense? Have you, have you kind of seen that happen? So for me, a lot of people actually, they, they have watched, you know, a few of the shows, but they come in and say, oh my God, you threw us, you threw us so great. Like we don't really, we didn't even imagine that's how you set down the ball and like you can't hear your ball. I'm like, I never pay attention to those things. So when they say that, I'm like, well, wow, that's like, right. oh, thank you very much, because I'm not used to, like, I give compliments to people, but I'm not the type of person that likes to be getting, oh, like, oh, my God, because I don't, <laughs> I'm, I don't care, <laughs> you know, like, I'm very honest with that. It's just, uh, to me, this is what I do, this is, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, so when they say something nice, it's just, oh, thank you, it's like, I appreciate it, you know, because I'm not used to always being told you're this and you're that, because... To me, it doesn't really matter. To me, it's just why am I giving back to the sport? What am I giving to the people? And when you have the other way around, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, thank you. Like, I'm like, oh, shy. Right. And they, they are surp surprised that I'm like a little, you know, shy in that aspect because I try to tell them, I'm just like you. I miss first too, you right. know, like sometimes I don't have the greatest attitude, you know, but um, so that's, that's been my experience so far. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then, Sid, from a young from a young player's perspective, I'd imagine that uh, because you haven't made a step ladder or a TV, and you will, uh, you know, there's a the thing of, hey, I haven't seen her yet. Someone actually said that to me earlier. I'm like, oh, she, I think she finished, you know, six of the queens, and uh, so they knew who you were, and they're going to see you on TV. But I imagine maybe younger players may know you who you are uh, from your collegiate aspects, for example. Have you seen any of that? To yeah. That point? Uh, the first pair that I bowled with today, they were all about uh, seniors in high school or just started college. So they were aware of um, that I went to Wichita State and had bowled for them. So that was really cool because for me, Wichita State is everything. Right. So for them to know, you know, where I went to school and for them to, you know, want to go to Wichita State <laughs> makes my heart really happy. Uh, it's, you know, I want to keep promoting my school while I'm out here. Right. And hopefully I'll be able to be like Rocio and some of the other girls and grow my brand as well and really um, have a fan base that starts to grow. Nice. By the way, uh, th we didn't plan this, but we do have two <laughs> shockers uh, uh, sitting on the panel, of course. So um, last question from, a, from the Bowl with the Pro perspective. If you could bowl with anyone, um, you know, and you could pick someone to bowl with you in a, in a Bowl with the Pro event, uh, or multiple people, who would those folks be? We'll start with you, Sid. I want could my mom anybody. to bowl. Okay. Yeah, my mom doesn't bowl. But she's always out here, and she wants like everyone to have a good time right. and just have a smile on her face. So I want her to like have the experience of I don't know, just being out. I joked with her this week. I told her she needed to bowl. She didn't bring bowling shoes. I was upset. Okay. <laughs> but she brought food. I heard. She did. Right. Bring okay. Food. <laughs> we won't say anything else about that because I don't want people to to take it. Uh, Ro, who would you who would you pick? To be honest, I never got the experience to bowl a prong okay. because I was. A lot of people don't know this, but in Colombia, at a very young age, I could say that I could be like a superstar in the sure. U.S. So uh, 
I bowl with Andres and them, but they were my teammates. Like, I never got to, hey, oh my God, I'm your fun or whatever. Okay. So when I came here, I actually had a, last year at a trade show, I got to meet Tommy Deluts and I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 so players like that and even, like I've never got to bowl with Leanne, which I admire. And if I like someone to bowl a prom with me, maybe my, my dad, because he's always like, oh, make a spare and this. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let me now coach you <laughs> and see how it feels because none of my family members really bowl. My sister bowled when I was younger, but she tries now, but it's obviously not the same level. Right, right. So, so far, those will be like who I like to bowl. Okay. Uh, and then final question uh, about the rest of the season and kind of what you're looking forward to. Uh, Sid, you know, what uh, the goals for you for the rest of the season and what you're looking forward to? the rest of 2018 yeah I really just um, I have a bowling journal that I keep and so coming into this week I, I wrote that I just wanted to focus even more on the process so I I after that first tournament I was just like okay I didn't fail so it was okay um, and then I broke it down to okay just the next tournament and then the next stop I was like okay maybe at the Queens I was like okay maybe let's break it down to a block how good can I make this block Last tournament, I was like, okay, how good can I make this game? And now I really want to be able to bring myself to the present and just focus on every shot and make it as good as possible just to clean up some of those games that I'm giving away or those frames I'm giving away um, that could be 240, but right now they're 2 team. So I really just want to get really present the rest of the season and in the moment and see where it takes me. Perfect. I like that. Bro? I feel like this season I have grown as a player like whether I haven't made as many shows or whatever I have seen myself in the same situations I totally failed last year or the year prior to that so I know that I'm a lot more present now than I ever was although you know the results might not be there uh, last week I actually wasn't feeling great like I was you know after Queens I had a situation with my health and I'm still recovering from that but to me, that's just part of the process. Like, I've never had to experience, you know, when you come out on tour, you, you get sick. And, you know, this is like, oh, yeah, you, it happens. Like, right. it hasn't happened to me in three years. So, for me, it's just been about enjoying it. Uh, because at this point in my career, I feel like I don't have to prove anyone. So, to me, it's just about, I know I've been there. I know I have cash. I know I have won. I know what I have. But is about me being honest with myself and reminding myself this is why I bowl. I bowl because I just have so much fun. I love to release the ball. I like to be in those pressure situations. So when those things happen, I don't go, oh, why does this happen to me? Instead, I'm like, okay, bring it on. I'm ready for this because I've been doing this my whole life. So now I have a different, uh, like uh, I see things a lot different than I did before. Uh, I'm just hoping I break through, you know, this season, like soon enough, I was on a TV show, but obviously it didn't go the way right. I wanted. Mm -hmm. But I know I have grown as a player. I just want to be more present as well. Like like Sydney said, like you want to be every shot, but my spirit game has been a lot better. I have dealt with situations a lot better than I did in the past. So I have grown. It's just, okay, now let's make it happen. And that's the only thing I'm looking for. If I if I don't, I know I'm enjoying it. I know it's hard sometimes because you you're used to being, you know, making shows and all sure. that. But I'm right. blessed to be able to be here and have a place to compete. So that's what I have to remind myself. Hey, remember there wasn't anything before. We have this now. You can actually roll the ball. So don't get ahead of yourself right. so that's what i'm looking for for the rest of the season i'm having fun i'm cashing you know i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing i can't control some of the issues with the health that just happens sure. but it's how i deal with those situations that makes makes me better and i so far i have done okay so i'm just gonna keep knocking on the door and enjoying every every time of it i think i can do better at that for sure nice two wise perspectives uh one from uh an experienced player, of course, and a tour rookie. Uh, Ro, Sid, thanks for joining us today. Thank, thank you. You're welcome, thanks of course. You know where to watch us, folks. Uh, Extra Frame Thursday, oh, today's Thursday, sorry. Friday, Saturday, Extra Frame. We start at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, PWBA Louisville Open from Fern Valley Strike and Spare 
on Saturday, we'll have the round of 32, the round of 12, and of course, both of these players hope to be in the step down, <laughs> excuse me, the step ladder finals live at 5 p.m. Uh, until then, until next week, we'll be in Harrisburg. We hope to see you on Extra Frame. We'll say so long for now.